Warning Shadows is a 1923 German film. In Germany, it's known as Shadows, a Nocturnal Hallucination. Now, the interesting thing about this film is that the director, uh, Arthur Robison, was born here in America. He, he was born in Chicago, Illinois, in 1883. Now, any other time that I have critiqued a German film, such as like the Fritz Lang films and everybody involved is from like Germany or Austria. And, but no, Arthur uh, Robison was, it was from America. So <laughs> I, I tried to look up any re reason as to why he ended up in America. I mean, ended up in Germany and, and I just, I, I couldn't find anything. So, but his uh, strong suit or his interest in film was horror, which is what this uh, particular film was. Now, this film was recommended to me. And I have to admit that the first time I watched it, I, I couldn't make heads or tails of it. I just but by the second and third time I watched it, I actually really enjoyed it. <laughs> when it opens up, it opens up with, uh, and you see shadows. And so it's like a, a shadow display and it's very creative. And I got the feeling that it was like a, a, a play. And uh, like this whole play was being played out in front of, and um, so that was my understanding. Now, if you're familiar with uh, Shakespeare, there are a lot of times, like for instance, Hamlet, which is my favorite play. He he usually does like a play within a play, and uh, he does that in several of his. Uh, productions. And um, so I, I almost had the feeling that that's what was going on here. It, there was just that strong feeling of a play was happening with this shadow effect. And um, if that wasn't what was supposed to be happening, then, <laughs> then I'm broken. <laughs> but um, but anyway, as the story continues, you have this couple, they're gonna have a, a dinner party. And throughout the dinner party, you can tell that the marriage is strained. The, the, the husband is very jealous. He just has an issue with, she's very flirtatious and, and he has an issue with that, but, he, but it's obvious that the suitors return her advances and, you know, and so during dinner, there is a magician that comes in and he gives this prediction within the, in the form of these shadow effects. And throughout the movie, you see a lot of different play on shadows. It, it can be comical at times. It, sometimes it just kind of gets overplayed. And um, so I don't know if uh, Arthur Robinson just wasn't, <laughs> he didn't want to cut out the idea or I, I don't know, but it, it does get overdone. <laughs> but at the same time, it's really cool to see it. So, I mean, like the shadow effects that they do, you're like, okay, we get it. But at the same time, you, you, for me anyway, I, I kept watching because it was just so interesting the way that they did that. And um, so, yeah, I, I, I found it both annoying, but it was like, don't stop, <laughs> if that makes sense. So anyway, this, um, this magician gives a prediction as to the couple's relationship and it goes from there and um it's you know it 
it's meant to be a horror film. Like I said, there's there's some uh, comic elements, especially with the the shadow effects that they do throughout the film. I didn't really see it as a horror film. Uh, I, like I said, maybe I'm broken, but <laughs> and everything. But I just, as I was watching, I I just did not feel the the i just didn't see it as because it just felt like it was more like there should have been more if you understand i like i said i i didn't hate the film i i i loved the film and um it, it wasn't terrible it was it took me a little it took me a while to actually get into the film and um and everything but uh <laughs> to 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 kick start my interest in the film <laughs> and everything now as for the the reception that it, it got people really found it interesting they liked the film you know cuz it this was a time you know the 20s were all about expressionism and all of this well this this has a lot of expressionism if you remember uh um the cabinet of uh, dr caligari and a lot of the symbolism with the expressionism and 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 you know a lot of the backdrops and all of that this has kind of the same thing and uh so so it just, especially when you see, like, like I was saying with, with uh, the, um, the beginning where it feels like a play, there's also the uh, shadow effects with the, the, uh, the, what is it, the, the magician and what he was doing, you know, when he was giving his warning. And I think that's part of the reason why I don't really see it as so much of uh, a horror film because it felt like there should have been this could have been the the film is only like it's not even two hours and they could have added a lot more to make it more of a horror film i think that's where i'm getting at but anyway so as a whole the shadow effects are fantastic there are times you know it, it feels like there are times where you'll watch it and you'll think okay we get it shadow effects and, and all of this stuff but to be honest I couldn't look away I thought it was very creative very well done it was I'm sure at the time something that had never been done before in film and so that's why none of it was uh taken out I I, I thought it was <laughs> like I've said before I thought it was very creative the way that it was put together and um me personally, I didn't see it as as a horror film, and and all that. But you know, and and there was a time. I will say this: there was at one point I thought that they were under a spell. I thought that the magician had put them under some kind of a spell, and so I, I think that's why I was expecting more. And um, but again, I I didn't hate the movie. I I I really really enjoyed this movie, and. Um, so anyway, that is uh, Warning Shadows.